Hello out there, and welcome back to Weekly Gaming News Shows 10 and 10. This is episode 146 for the week ending Saturday, March 30th, 2019. April's games with gold have been announced. The four titles this month all playable on the Xbox One are Technomancer, Outcast Second Contact, Ghost Recon 2, and Star Wars Battlefront 2. Technomancer and Star Wars Battlefront 2 will be available at the start of the month, while Outcast Second Contact and Ghost Recon 2 will be available in the middle of the month. April's PlayStation Plus games have also been announced. This month, active PlayStation Plus subscribers will be able to get open-world survival game Conan Exiles and sci-fi RPG The Surge. Both games will be available on the first Tuesday of April. A free year of Nintendo Online is available with a Twitch Prime membership. This offer is for an individual account only and can be redeemed when you link your Twitch Prime account to your Nintendo Online account. When you first link the accounts, you will get a 90-day membership. You will then need to return after 60 days to get the final 9 months of free membership. Apple launches into the gaming world with Apple Arcade, a subscription service due out this fall. Pricing has not been detailed, but the iPhone purveyor announced that the service will include 100 new titles, some of which will be exclusive. They also boasted partnerships with big-name game developers such as Devolver, Platinum Games, Disney, and others. Borderlands 3 has been announced by Gearbox at PAX East, complete with a reveal trailer. The game boasts all new Vault Hunters and a billion guns. Borderlands 3 returns with the quirky cell shaded art style of the previous games. 2K Games promised more information on April 3rd, the day that Borderlands Game of the Year Edition will be released for PC, PlayStation 4, and Xbox One. The Sega Genesis Mini Console gets dated at an annual fan event in Tokyo. On stage at Sega Fest 2019, the Sega Genesis or Mega Drive Mini will be available starting September 19th. So far, only a few of the games for the Japanese version of the console have been revealed. They also priced the system at 6,980 yen, about 60 US dollars for a console with one control, and 8,980 yen, about 80 US dollars for a model with two controllers. Kazurai announced his retirement from Sony Effective this summer. After stepping down as CEO last April, Kazurai stayed on to ensure the transition was smooth. His retirement is set to take effect June 18th, but noted that he will take on a senior advisor by request role to continue to impart his industry knowledge into Sony's current management team. EA signs a publishing deal with Volan Studios, a startup opened by Vicarious Visions founders Guha and Karthik Bala. The deal will have EA publish a new, as yet to be announced, IP from Volan Studios. The studio is planning to nearly double its staff to prepare for creating this new IP, which seems to be a multiplayer action game. Sony's first State of Play event was this past week. During their event, they revealed a new Iron Man VR game as well as VR updates to No Man's Sky and Five Nights at Freddy's. They showed off a new trailer for Days Gone, which releases on April 26th, and they revealed PS4 exclusive action game Concrete Genie. Finally, Microsoft had an ID at Game Pass event this past week where they too made several announcements. During the event, Microsoft announced that Night School Studios' new game, After Party, will be available on Microsoft's Game Pass service at launch. After Party was not the only game announced for launch day availability on Game Pass. Other games that will be available in this manner are Blazing Chrome, Killer Queen Black, and Outer Wilds. Thank you for watching. That will be the end of this episode of a weekly gaming news shows 10 and 10. Before I go, I'd like to give a word to our partner, the new challengers. If you're fighting, if you like fighting games and are looking for a strong community to share your passion, the new challenger is the place for you. Offering fight nights, tournaments, trainings, and more um, for the most popular fighting games such as Street Fighter V, Dragon Ball Fighter Z, and even the upcoming Mortal Kombat 11, the New Challengers is the place to get those combos off. Head over to www.newchallenger.gg to learn more and sign up. Finally, if you'd like more details on these stories and others, watch a weekly gaming news show live stream Saturday nights at 9 p.m. Eastern on Twitch, Facebook, and Mixer.